hi welcome back to my channel as promised last week the five foundations that have saved my skin this summer and by that i mean i'm not great with daily spfs i've talked about it a lot when i'm abroad i wear them but a lot of time in the uk one i stay out of the sun i'm never somebody that would lie in the sun uh, i'm never somebody that would go out for lunch and just sit in the sun without an umbrella um so I'm that sort of person that even when they walk down the road and it has been a really long hot summer in the UK I will walk down the the shady side of the street my body I'm slightly more gung-ho with like a lot of women um, and I've talked a lot about damaging my chest in the past and the reason is is because I've worn a daily SPF down to here in my foundation and these are the SPFs that I have worn this summer that have attempted to fight the shine they have been lightweight, non-sticky, non-occlusive, they haven't caused breakouts, they're easy to apply, they're easy to build if you want more coverage and they all have an SPF. And we're going to work from, um, no, I wouldn't say my least favourite to my most favourite because I love all of these and I would recommend all of them, but I'm going to start with Guerlain's Lingerie de Peau Aqua Nude. This is one of those little serum foundations which I really like. It has an SPF 20 in it, and I use this a lot at the beginning of the summer. It's super lightweight, super easy to use. For and for those that ask, I always apply it with my dual end It, it Cosmetics um, Complexion Perfection, I think it's called, Heaven Luxe brush. And I've never found a foundation brush like it. Everything blends super easily, and then this gives you a more con concentrated finish around the nose and under the eyes. I've actually got zero concealer on today, and I'm going to work up to the foundation that I've gone today that nine times out of ten I film in. So Lingerie de Peau by Guerlain, SPF 20. The other one that I've fallen in love with a little bit this summer is Light Wonder from Charlotte Tilbury, and I'll tell you one reason why. Sam Chapman. Whatever Sam Chapman does, I will try. Now, the thing is, it doesn't give me enough of a coverage for filming, but a lovely coverage for every day. And the reason that Sam loves it is because Sam is flawlessly beautiful. And she she started a video the other day and I was just mesmerized. I could have looked at her for ages. She was like, I'm just dancing in, dancing my brush over my skin, dancing in a little bit like Wonder by Charlotte Tilbury uh, with Mac face and body. And I was looking at her like this girl crushing it's just so beautiful her and her sister are both absolutely beautiful inside and out anyway i really like this one it's a slightly more glowy youthful finish than lingerie de peau the aqua nude it's um to be honest i would probably have to dust down the center panel and i'm going to end with the powder that has saved my skin and it's a budget one you're going to love it uh, I also fell in love with um, Hello Happy Benefit this summer and I know I did a sponsored post with them but I do not take sponsorship from brands I do not love and I really liked this. Um, it doesn't come in a broad enough uh, range of shades I will readily admit but each one is shade adaptive. I'm definitely a five. I started out in the summer at a four, but actually it was too light for my skin. I'm definitely a five. Um, each shade covers three or four shades of skin because when it goes on your skin, the particles actually blend with your skin tone and reflect your skin tone back. It's, again, I love serum foundations. I don't really like heavy cream foundations and I don't like long lasting foundations. And I know people with problematic skin do, but my argument always is, I think they're an itch scratch, itch cycle. If you don't do a damn good job of getting them off at the end of the night, they're gonna make your skin worse. And I always tell people to lighten up to a serum foundation or even a mineral foundation if they can bear to. Hello Happy gets my thumbs up. It sits perfectly in the middle, gives medium coverage. It's really lovely, lightweight, easy to use. I did this on holiday with me and it really lasted through the, when I put my videos up in a couple of weeks of my holiday, it really lasted through real humidity mm -hmm. and you know what even towards the end of the day it still protected my face fairly well now two favorites that i always come back to time and time again and you can kind of tell because look how empty this tube is i do love illusion by hourglass i am golden by the way um it's just it's um an spf 15 it's it's slightly more hydrating and I have worn it less this summer because it doesn't really stand up to the humidity. I mean, look at me now. It's, the sweat is bubbling through my face now. Um, uh, so it's probably not as much of a sort of 
hardcore lightweight serum foundation that stays put through thick and thin but I still really like it and if your skin's slightly drier it's a lovely one for you but the foundation that has saved my skin this summer is It Cosmetic CC Cream and there is one reason and one reason only it's an SPF 50 and I have gone out day and night with just this on my face and I have not had the sun touch my skin it's brilliant I've got it on today not a strap a scrap of concealer because I just want to put the minimum on and it's just such a great foundation I one of my best friends Jo Jones who I do the beauty hags with here she has oily younger skin than mine prone to breakouts we both love it it seems to just suit everybody every time I recommend it to somebody somebody comes back and says thank you so much it's amazing it will give you a heavy coverage like I'm wearing today to film but dance it over your face a la Sam Chapman it will give you a light coverage too you can just wear it down the center panel and blend it out and now I want to finish off this uh, little foundation review by saying if I have relied on a concealer this summer it's without a doubt been NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer just around my eyes and dotted around my nose if I need it. I always go for a lemon shade, a yellowy shade because it counteracts the redness in my skin which is around my nose and the, the sort of grey purpleness under my eyes. But oh my goodness this translucent powder by Beauty Pie which is one powder wonder has been my skin saviour this summer. Now look, I'm sweating now, um, but I'm gonna show you. Uh, this is Heavenly Lux Wand Ball Powder, also by It Cosmetics. Look how much I've used it this summer. It looks super white, but it's colorless. I promise, look at this. Load the brush on my chin, up onto my sweaty patch, which you would think would make you look cakey around my nose up onto my t-zone i even use this to blend i'm not even looking that's how translucent it is no chalkiness no cakiness it's the new generation any color skin can use this and i know you might not believe me but they truly truly can it's actually a new generation translucent powder and it mattifies your skin slightly without going chalky without going cakey it's been a total life saver for me this summer. It really has. Um, in fact, and I've got a little bit of announcement here. I hit 50,000 on Instagram not that long ago and um, the numbers have been going up so quickly. And then I went away on holiday. I didn't get a chance to run the competition. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about the competition next week for you. I'm going to give away 50 of my favorite products to one single Instagram follower. Follow me at Nadine Baggett. And I'm gonna talk about it next week. And that is going to be in the collection. More importantly, 10 runners up are going to get my 10 favorite current beauty buys that are available because I want everybody to join in. And I don't, I mean, I want one person to win an amazing prize, obviously, but I want the love to be spread evenly. And that is going not only into the main prize, but into the 10 runners up prizes as well. So there you go, five foundations that have saved my skin this summer, from an SPF 15 right the way up to an SPF 50. So choose accordingly to how strong the sun is that day, but do stay out of the sun, uh, as I have done this summer, including one for a slightly drier skin, because obviously I know not most people have sort of well-balanced, but getting older skin like mine, and the powder that has saved the day in the hottest English summer on record. Let me know how you protect your skin and what foundation you rely on. And if you've ever tried one of the new generation translucent powders. Next week, news of the brilliant beauty giveaway on Instagram. I have to celebrate the fact that I got to 50,000 on Instagram and also to share the love on YouTube as well because you can go across, subscribe, enter the competition. The details are also on my website and it's open to everybody. Mm -hmm.